I got really sick and <laughs> hey what's up hello welcome back we're doing another video today I am moving into my new apartment I'm so excited I've been waiting for this for months uh, there's lots of boxes back here but everything else is in a U-Haul trailer that my parents are bringing right behind me so right now we are headed to my apartment complex so I can put down my first month's rent and uh, get my keys and my mail keys and everything. I'm very excited to be moving to this complex. Let's get it started. There's so much stuff here. I'm actually, we're getting a TV stand tonight, so my TV stand will go over here. My TV will obviously face the other way. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with my desk area yet, but I think we're gonna leave it here. Um, if it's awkward, we'll eventually move it. But for right now, that's where it's staying. There's my kitchen, all of the boxes, my bedroom, which is very large, and I don't have anything else set up in here. It's just all boxes and stuff. And I have a linen closet here. This is the door to my bathroom from my bedroom. And I have never had a walk-in closet. It is now five days and lots of cough drops later. I have been so sick since Monday night-ish. I spent a lot of time at my parents and they've helped me unpack a lot of stuff. I'm about to organize my closet, so I'm just gonna show you guys my closet.
January 9th. Uh, a lot has happened in the last few weeks. I got really sick and... <laughs> Get off the camera, you goober. Uh, I got really sick. We had Christmas, New Year's. Uh, I worked a lot of overtime at work and I'm just now to a point where I'm finally unpacked enough and organized enough and I have some decor on the walls that I feel it is now presentable enough for me to go ahead and video everything. I've been here for almost a month now. I am so in love with it. I love living here. Uh, this was a big step for me to move out and be uh, completely by myself because I was living with Maddie before. I really love the independence. I love being able to come and go and not feel like I'm bothering anyone or I don't know. I just really like the alone time. The complex is fairly quiet, so it's really nice to just kind of sit and, and be. Uh, Iris did phenomenal with the transition. She loves living here. Uh, there have never been any other animals in this unit. She's a very nervous, very anxious kitty, so she uh, really likes that we're by ourselves now. So. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the apartment. When you come in my front door, to your right is my kitchen. And the cabinets are so incredibly tall that I have to have that stool down there. That door right there is my laundry room. I'm not gonna show you that because there's a bunch of storage stuff in there right now. It's not the biggest kitchen on the planet, but it is literally the perfect size for me. And it's not too much to clean, which I love. Uh, I'm obsessed with the sinks because they're so deep and the faucet is really nice and the countertops are beautiful. I love that. And then on the opposite side, when you walk in, is my bathroom. The countertops in here are a little bit different. They're white and gray, so still the same color scheme. And I have a very large mirror. And then just a shower and normal bathroom things. So as you continue in, this is my office space. Uh, this was or should be the dining space. I just don't have a need for it. Um, I would just eat over here at the bar. So uh, I put my desk over here, all of my office stuff. I've done a lot of um, applying for jobs and a lot of phone interviews and stuff like that. So there's Maddie. Uh, so I definitely utilize this space. I also get ready here every day. Um, I'm gonna find some time to get rid of these things right here but my desk is full of makeup so I really can't get rid of that yet and then backing up this is uh, the rest of my living room don't judge me because my Christmas tree is still up I don't have anything to put over there yet uh, Yeah, it's a very large room so and I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with the rest of it yet but that's my living room I love all of the furniture courtesy of Ikea and then, of course, we come in here and we have my bedroom. My bedroom is pretty bare. I haven't hung anything up yet just because I haven't really felt the need to do so. I'm in the process of looking for a headboard also to kind of complete the room and help out with that. I have a nightstand over there, my lamp, Iris's kitter box, and my dresser, and my clothes hamper. So nothing super crazy in here. Uh, the best thing in here is that I have a walk-in closet, which is that right door over there, but we're not going in there because it's a mess. And then this tiny door right here is a linen closet, which is so nice to have. That's my house or apartment, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I do have a garage downstairs and I do have a deck. Uh, I'm on the upper level. I just don't want to go downstairs or outside because it's cold and windy. So we're not doing that. But yeah, I love living here. I think the color scheme is perfect for me. The molding that's gray and then the walls are white everything is just so perfect it's right up my alley it's very clean and everything is kind of how I would have designed it for myself it's the perfect place for me so 
Moving was definitely a big milestone for me to move out by myself. Uh, I was not as prepared as I thought I was, which is, I feel like, kind of how life is. So, uh, moving in with Maddie was awesome and it was so fun because we got to do all of those things together, kind of the whole process and, you know, putting deposits down and signing the lease and taking care of the pets and stuff like that. So I had to do all that by myself uh, this time, which was a whirlwind, let me tell you. Um, always have more money than they say you're gonna need because you're gonna need a lot of things when you move in by yourself. <laughs> uh, I think the hardest part probably was my kitchen supplies, like not having everything that I thought I had. So it was an interesting transition. It's definitely a big step into adulthood. I feel very independent. I feel very much like an adult, which is, that was kind of the goal to move out by myself because that was the next big life step, so. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down and I promise I won't lose any sleep over it. And if you wanna see more videos, subscribe and maybe I'll do some more soon. I'm vlogged. I'm vlogging. What are you getting into? Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Why can't I film a stinking outro? I literally can't ever film the end.